Hi guys, today is another unboxing and I did my first order with um, Makeup Geek, so the company which is owned by Marlena Starr. Um, I opened it up already to um, remove my personal identifiable information, but um, I didn't unbox anything yet. So I just opened it up to take the invoice out and um, remove my name and address and everything. But yeah, this is how it arrived. Um, so I live in the UK in London. Um, I ordered it roughly four weeks ago so it took quite a while to arrive saying that though after three weeks um when it didn't arrive yet i did email them and the customer service was super friendly and came really fast back to me because the tracking number they sent me via the website somehow didn't work but then um, they sent me a new tracking number and um, it was just held up a bit in customs but this is how it arrived black box um cute sticker on there and silk paper so the invoice was on top here and i took it out and the rest we unbox together. So really cutely packaged, lots of paper, more paper, more paper, ah, okay. So I ordered four items, they all are differently wrapped. So what I will do is, um, so the video is not too long. So it's definitely really well packaged, very happy with that. So I hope nothing is broken. And I will just get all the items out now and um, then we look at them. Okay, so I got the four products out. Um, they are some of them still have an extra sleeve around. So as you can see, I got four things. I got the Beautifully Bare Face Palette in Light. For that one, I paid 25 US dollars. Then I... Is it actually the one? I don't know. Was it this? No, I think this is the Beautifully Bare Palette. This is probably the Flawless Full Face Palette Fair Lady, because it says Flawlessly Ever After. Fair Lady. Yeah, that's definitely the one. That one was um, 19.99 US dollars. Then I got the In The Nude Eyeshadow Palette, um, which is this one, which was 29.99 US dollars. And I got the Passion Eyeshadow Quad, which was on sale for 11 dollars 99. Um, I also had a 10% off voucher um, on the whole order. So in total I paid 78.27 US US dollars and I got free shipping if I'm over um, 75 US dollars um, which is quite nice saying that though you have to pay import charge so in you in UK pound it was roughly 69 UK pound I paid for that and additionally I paid 21 um, British pound on import charge so which is like a fee you have to pay for the post office to um, deal with the import charge and then another I think yeah, eight eight pounds I think was the post office charge and thirteen pound was um, the import charge. So you you need to consider that. So all in all, total for these four products, um, I paid ninety pound roughly, which is a lot if you think about it. Um, I'm happy to pay for it. I, I never tried this brand yet and I was really curious about it and I just want to try it which is why I got face palettes and eyeshadow palettes and quad which is quite nice because I usually like quads. So, But let's just open the stuff up. First thing I need to say though, apart from the logo, all of the products look very different so they actually look like from a different brand if there wouldn't be the logo on it. So I wish it would be a bit more cohesive. Um, I'm happy though with how it looks overall so the packages seem to be also very different so the first one is the beautifully bare face palette in light um, it's cardboard packaging it's this design is a bit raised on it which I don't mind to be honest it's quite nice and slim let's open it up there's no mirror in there and you have a highlighter a blush and a bronzer the highlighter is psychedelic the blush is bliss and the bronzer is sun kissed for fair skin apparently and um, the highlighter is seven grams the other two products are nine grams which is quite a good amount so let's get it swatched i'm filming in daylight today by the way it's getting a little bit overcast now so i hope we still see it well there we go really nice peachy blush bronzer and highlighter the highlighter is apparently duochrome so let's see about oh yeah Definitely, it has a gold sheen to it. There's the blush. There's the bronzer. Oh yeah, definitely the bronzer is for me. There we go. I'm very fair in the face. You can actually hardly see. Let me try to move it, maybe. There we go. But there you can see the highlighter has a gold shimmer to it. Very nice. I really like the blush. And... To be honest, so far I really like the bronzer. It looks much darker on the pan than it transfers on the skin because I was a bit worried that it's a bit dark. 
but no very happy with that look at this the highlight is really nice actually so happy already with the first product i think 25 pound is up there i will definitely um try it out now and let's see how the formula is so far with the swatches i'm really happy and happy to have it in my collection now so let's actually go straight to the next face palette this was the flawless full face palette in fair lady this seems to have plastic packaging inside cardboard Ugh sleeve there we go oh that looks very different than this packaging of course i like it though fair lady face palette radiant betrayal flirt and amour there we go oh this one has a mirror very nice it also has like protective plastic sleeve which stuck to the mirror this one is very definitely much smaller does it say oh yeah it says 3.6 gram each so these are half the size the pants than the other ones roughly actually the big ones nine pants even less but there we go i'm not sure actually what's supposed to be what here because it doesn't really say what's a bronzer it just says face palette so this is shimmery i'm guessing these are the bronzers this might be I don't know it's shimmery it might be bronzer or highlights or this is definitely a blush i guess you could also use some of these sorry my fingers actually in the way you probably could also use the other colors maybe as a blush but let's just swatch it now clean my hand there we go okay i would say Highlighter, bronzer, blush, blush. Let me actually swatch it on the inside. Yeah, definitely. Okay, swatch, they look very different, which is good. So definitely here we have blush, blush, bronzer, highlighter. This bronzer looks much darker compared to the other one, considering they're both meant to be for pale skin types. Let's see how it will be on the face. It still looks good though. I think when you apply it with a brush anyway, because it will be much lighter to the touch. The blushes are really, actually even the bronzer, it's really, really well pigmented. I really, really like that. So that actually is a sign of really good quality because it means you don't need a lot. You can be really going lightly with your brush in there. And the highlighter, again, I actually really like it because it really shows a nice sheen, but not too much in your face. Let me actually buff that out a little bit. Yeah, I think the highlight I will actually really like. There we go. Just a nice sheen on the skin, but not too much. Love it. Very nice. So happy with that. Then let's open the little quad. This seems to have been, I didn't even realize on the website. Clearly it was um, a collaboration with Target at some point in the US. Whoops, my fingers are still a bit dirty. Let me quickly clean them. Okay, there we go. Let's remove the sleeve this is another cardboard packaging again it looks different though to all of the other packages this one doesn't have a mirror either and this quad just really spoke to me when i saw it online I, i'm really a fan of quad at the moment quads at the moment just a nice little quad for your daily routine is all you sometimes need uh, colors are shimmer shimmer nostalgic wild west and cherry cola and it's the passion eyeshadow palette and it is 1.8 gram each so let's swatch it. Now I will swatch them on my other arm. They feel nice and smooth texture-wise. Texture-wise, there we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, okay. I'm really happy with that. So the first one's very shimmery. And then the two mattes look very smooth i really like the color story on this this is for really nice eye look day to day you can actually use that which is brilliant because this is what i wanted i wanted a usable quad really like it actually very happy with it so i'm really looking forward for that one i think i might use that one later today and then the last one um i got the in the nude eyeshadow palette I'll just quickly click my fingers there we go this one has a plastic sleeve Okay, 
and you realize that this design is similar to what we had on this one and it's oh, a lot of colors um let's check first so it's a nine pan eyeshadow palette and 1.8 gram each of the eyeshadows and we have rapunzel tan lines cabin fever in the spotlight buffed grandstand so pale creased and dark roast let's open up oh this one has a mirror very nice and a protective sleeve for the eyeshadows which stuck to the mirror oh wow really happy with that and i think we should while well, it started to get them swatched not to hang around because i also don't want the video to be too long i will swatch them on the other arm again okay i will go a column down they seem to be all mats okay this one in the corner here doesn't pick up properly. Which color is that? That's so pale. It's very pale because you can hardly see it on my arm there. You can see. Um, it doesn't really pick up. So let's go to the next one. There we have two shimmeries. Oh, I'm sorry for that hair here. But I'm already a big fan of this shimmery. This one is called In the Spotlight. But let's swatch them on the arm. Wow, very happy. And then let's go to the last column. There we go. I'm running out of space on my arm. Okay, one thing I have to say the mats seem to feel very smooth and very like easy to swatch which is good there we go here we have the eyeshadow palette again focus maybe i need to go a bit further away love the color story very happy with that apart from that one the so pale one which is literally between these two but this is definitely an easy to wear one and i'm really looking for it's very similar to the quad as you can see but that's just the type of colors I like because I thought if I buy something already from that brand and if I get it imported already I want to make sure that it's actually something I can wear on a daily basis and literally get wear out of it because you don't want some really crazy eyeshadow palettes pay money pay import duty and everything and then you actually can't use it so I'm really happy with these two I think they complement each other quite nicely I'm I need to check actually let me quickly get a tour Okay, there I'm back. So yeah, I, I quickly had a check and yes, um, I was right. All of the eyeshadows are actually magnetized, which is brilliant because if I want to swap some of these and put them in this little quad case, it's perfect for traveling. They have a big magnet underneath and you can just pop them in, in and out what you want, how you want it. And they also say the shade names on the bottom, which is very nice. So if you can't remember anymore, you just have a look and you get it out. So really happy with that because if you have then cases which you can actually swatch around it makes actually sense saying that though I just realized something okay let me have a look because the one I just got out in the middle said something in the pink but here it says it's supposed to be the shade buffed let me quickly get them all out okay there we are I'm back I checked this palette as well but um, the names on the back are corresponding with the names on the pans on the back side of the pans apart from this one which just has no name at all but this one in the in the nude palette this one is supposed to be buffed but it's called pink brulee this one is supposed to be creased but it's called charcoal brown and this one down here is supposed to be cabin fever but it's called swiss chalk so i don't know i still like the colors um, I'm guessing there was a mix-up or they're just similar or they even renamed them. I don't know. I don't know the company too well to make any comment on it. If you know something about it, maybe let me know in the comment. And this one um, has no print at all on the back. This is tan lines. I think this one was supposed to be the one where they planned a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. So maybe that's why it's not on the back. But yeah, still happy with the palette though. But it's quite odd that the names are different. One thing also, um, I got them out because they are magnetized, but they're actually holes on the bottom where you could push them out easily but 
because they put the sticker on the back you can't actually use that i know it's probably not supposed to be a, a switchable palette because it is a standalone makeup palette as they sell it like this but just to let you know but yeah that's it for me today i hope the video is not too long still really looking forward to use the face palettes and the eyeshadow palettes the eyeshadow quality seems to be really really nice so i'm really looking forward to see them on my eyes here again on my arms and there the little quad i'm just really looking forward to use it now that's it for me and see you next time. Bye bye.